FTX is said to have over a million creditors shortly after it filed for bankruptcy in November 2022. A document listing the names of creditors in the 116-page document was released Friday. The list included names that were already pretty well known and names that surprised everyone. FTX creditors include banks. The FTX story moves forward to identify the impact of the cryptocurrency exchange's bankruptcy. A recently released 116 page document identified thousands of companies, including banks Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan Chase and Co., Wells Fargo, HSBC Banks, Deutsche Bank AG, MUFG, and many others are on the list. This indicates that the failed exchanges had supporters from all over the world, but it remains unknown how much these companies have invested in FTX. This document only lists companies in which we currently invest, the amount of debt, or if we have exposure to FTX. FTX attorneys say that for service purposes, the list is intended to be fairly broad and include names that may appear in records and books. A Goldman Sachs spokesperson also told Bloomberg. Goldman Sachs has not made any claims against the debtors. This type of creditor matrix is created by a debtor to notify interested parties in bankruptcy proceedings and is not necessarily proof of creditor relationships. Similarly, a Deutsche Bank representative also said the bank had no credit exposure to the bankrupt exchange. However, in addition to banks, the list also included several large mainstream organizations. These include Google, Meta, Twitter, Apple, Netflix, Amazon, Microsoft, and others. FTT price almost rose. The FTT price has been rising in value over the last 24 hours with some very interesting changes during the intraday trading hours. The altcoin price closed at $1.979 on January 27 after he surged nearly 21% and recovered $2. Therefore, the overall value increase was reduced to just 4%. The FTT is trading at $1.946 at the time of writing and is currently calm as bullish sentiment across the market has weakened and no gains have been seen over the past few days.